Ladies and Jimbos, you thought that this was the end of the multiverse. You thought we've reached the tip of the cucumber. Scraped every barrel to find another story where we could cross over icons. But no, storytelling has done it yet again by giving us, actually no, blessing us with a comic that will stand the test of time as one of the best one-shots that will make your belly button tingle and toes warm. In the KFC Across the Universe one-shot with Green Lantern. The story starts with a spaceship called the Zinger One crashing into Earth and causing an explosion. But someone out of the blue, Kamikaze's into this fire, prepared to get deep fried. And not only did the man in the car save the people on that ship, but Mr. Colonel Sanders himself, the beast of the grease, the winners of the zingers, the finger licking connoisseur, comes out of this fire looking like 5.4 billion bucks while holding a KFC bucket and spreading the KFC joy to the people. Mr. Sanders tells the people that they test fried the zinger into orbit. Like this is some Ready Player One science. They test fried this thing into orbit. But anyways, they test fried it and now they want to take this burger into the universal level and have people from other worlds try out this burger with the help of the beloved Hal Jordan. Hal's brain suddenly turned into a stale patty and questioned how this was possible. Mr. Sanders said that with the help of his ring and their companionship, they gave him the opportunity to explore different worlds. People who need to have their lives extended tenfold just to have the chance of trying this juicy and delectable zinger that not even God can muster up. So Hal takes the legend to space and with the help of a few lanterns, they bazooka blast multiple zingers across the world. Now you may be wondering, yes, everyone is going to have the opportunity to know what it's like to feel again. The bubbles and juice from every bite of that zinger is going to make aliens feel like they had the biggest makeout session with the angels of heaven. But in reality, something much worse was happening. No one was actually getting any zingers and a greedy and rotten orange lantern is staining all these sandwiches for himself. So now it's time for this great dynamic duo to stop this dude. So after Hal forged a temporary KFC Green Lantern ring, they head to save the universe and find that this zinger stinger is none other than Larflees, who looks like someone who mutated an onion ring or that one British YouTuber Calfreezy. Anyways, Larflees demands more zingers, but Mr. Sanders' daddy slaps this onion ring to the wet moppy ground with his fist. But Lantern says to let his imagination run wild and use the ring to its fullest. Who should be the last person to say this because Hal has no imagination when it comes to his ring, but Mr. Sanders does because he whips out weapons that could have ended every war that has ever existed in history within seconds. He whipped up spoons, forks, and chicken, and goes to town on this goofy goober until he gets a chokehold of him and demands him to stay and create even more zingers. But what Mr. Sanders does next is nothing more than truly revolutionary, a thing that not even Tesla has even thought of yet. Mr. Sanders offered to open a KFC on Okara, the home of the Orange Lanterns. He would offer them a quality kitchen, ingredients, a great training program for employees, and the employees could be people who reside on the planet. So that way, no one gets hurt, and you can still have unlimited zingers, and so can everyone else. And with the power of love, friendship, and professional business offers, Larflees agrees to this, the two heroes focus on sending out more zingers to the universe, and the day is saved. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe and I'll see you later.